<laughs> it's Erskine Music and Rustic Songbird. We are coming together to do the Create Songwriter Retreat for 2021. And this is a chance for songwriters to come together for a weekend retreat. The dates are May 14th, 15th, and 16th. We will be staying at this huge, beautiful Airbnb in Clarksville, Tennessee, and we're hoping for 10 writers to come together. We're going to break out into co-writing sessions. We're going to have special time of Q&A to talk about the current state of the music industry and just encourage each other as songwriters and musicians in creative ways that we can use our music and get it out into the world. So the Create Retreat is coming up and the deadline to sign up is May the 1st. So how you can sign up is go to rusticsongbird.com slash retreat and you can get more details there. The timeline for that is Friday at 5 p.m., to Sunday around 4 p.m. So if you're coming in from out of town, you need to schedule some flights. We can pick you up at the airport. We can work things out. Uh, we would love to get more friends to join us. We've got a few people signed up already and some spots open. So we want to let people know if you are a songwriter and you want encouragement and you want to have co-writing opportunities with other artists, other musicians, collaborate together to make a fresh sound. We are coming together May 14th through the 16th the cost is $250 per person, and that covers your accommodation, staying at the Airbnb for the weekend for two nights, and all of the meals and supplies for the weekend. So it's a great deal to come together. Me and Erskine wrote a song two years ago at the retreat that we released last year, and it has been amazing. And that song would not have been written if we didn't do the retreat. And several other great songs have come from our previous retreats. So I'm excited to see everybody come together. If you're a musician or a songwriter and want to join us for that weekend, you can get all the details at rusticsongbird.com slash retreat. We'll be sending out some more information for that. But we want to let you know about that on the show today so you can get signed up, get your spot, and come join us. All right. That was Lydia She's doing her thing. She was rapid fire. It's like she was rapping. I was ready. <laughs> so we've got about 10 minutes and I was like, I'm going to put out all the info out right up front. Yeah. The inverted pyramid, but let's get it. Let's get the, the yeah, up front stuff loading all first. the good stuff. Yeah. So again, really quickly, people can go sign up where and when is the deadline? Just those yes, two the, points. The deadline is May 1st. So you can sign up. That's now, soon. today, and you're good. We've got spots open, and we want you there. So come join us. Sign up at rusticsongbird.com slash retreat. Mm -hmm. Well, as Lydia said, we have written a song together. We've written several songs together, haven't we? A couple songs? Yeah, we were in several co-writes together. This is our first rap song, though, that we did. And we did the song Mom Life. I love that we got to perform it live in Gatlinburg a few weeks ago. And we got that on video. So it's up on my YouTube channel now. And I'm like, everybody should watch this because it's me and Erskine jamming, just doing our thing, playing our song. That was a special moment for sure. We were definitely doing our thing. So I'm going to give people a little a shot of mom life for Let's this do it. morning. But before that, do you have anything else that you want to say that you want to plug into the show? Man, you I just feel so grateful. You. I love black people. Oh my goodness. You you're probably my favorite black person though. Let me just say like Erskine is such a good buddy of mine. Yeah, actually, like if we were gonna talk before, I was just gonna ask you today how you're doing and like how you're hanging in there today. Yeah. So so much is going happen? on. Yeah, yeah. There's been some things happening, you know. I don't pay so. attention to the news. Just kidding. I do. Uh you know, I, I um I saw some stuff on Twitter. And it seems like people are pretty upset this week. It's a, yeah. I'm not it's upset crazy. about anything. I just want people to Man, know. Man, I, I feel so grateful to be alive and to have family and friends and, and health. And I just, when I think about what I'm thankful for, the list goes on and on. I'm like, you know what? There's so many good things in the world. I see what you're doing with your music and your ministry and what we're able to do together. And I'm like, that's the stuff that should be on the news. Like, there's so many good things that people don't even know about because they're focused on the bad. They're focused on, you know, the difficult things. And yes, we should be concerned about justice. And yes, we should be concerned about loving people and taking care of each other and doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is always the right thing, whether it's Ooh. popular or not. Okay, come on now. That's a lyric for a song. We should I'll write a song about it. Maybe, maybe at the, the retreat. retreat. <laughs> 
doing the right thing is always the right thing. Oh, copyright that. <laughs> it might already be. I don't know. Probably so. I heard it somewhere. Probably so. Hey, uh, no, I, I, I thank you very much, Lydia. We've talked over the years about various things as they've come up um, in our culture and our society, and you've always been supportive and you've always been encouraging. And, um, you know, I think we're at a cultural moment, which I've talked about it a lot on this show. And I think you went back and watched some other episodes. And you know that I get kind of fired up about things on this show from time to time. I love it. Time. I'm glad that you're doing that. Like just, yeah, opening it up to talk about it and talk about yeah. difficult things and talk about why things are happening and maybe sharing different perspectives that people aren't necessarily seeing in their daily lives, in their circles and in their communities. So it's good to like highlight different perspectives from different backgrounds and, you know, understand each other better. So yeah, I think it's great. And so, yeah, that's been a lot of fun. And it's, it's you know, for those that it helps, it helps. And for those that it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just I heard a sermon this last weekend about uh, the scripture that says, um, let he who has ears, let him hear. Mm. And the difference between hearing and listening. You can hear something and it goes in one ear and out the other. But if you're listening, you're paying attention. You're allowing that to kind of soak in. You're going to think about it. And even allow it to change your perspective, change your mind, mm. or change your actions and behavior based on new information, based on expanding your knowledge and understanding that you don't know it all and that you don't have all the answers and that's okay. Yeah. Man, you just said a lot in a little bit of time. And I know that you know you came on and talked that's about the retreat. So I'll, I'll kind of <laughs> keep it, I'll kind of keep it at that level. But yeah, having teenagers, you can often have them hear and not listen. So <laughs> that's a, are the same. Yeah. I'm right a there living you. illustration. Yeah. You have like 15, 15 kids over there. So you, you full well know what that's all about, but, I, I, too, but it could feel like 15. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely uh, just wanted to take note of the fact that this is a, a unique cultural moment where I think that there are some things that are shifting and uh, you know, sometimes Christians are not comfortable with the shifts that are taking place there. And I get that. I understand that. And that's okay to be uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it's, I, it's good to understand why it's uncomfortable. And yeah. if you're too comfortable, you're not open to change. But when you're uncomfortable, it's going to change anyway. So we can choose to change for the better. Yeah. Yep. So you said it great. 